Right, so now we're going to be moving on to the penultimate boss in the game, Nitrous Brio. Yes, we're actually at the penultimate boss, and the end of the boss, end game is really not far away. So, Brio is going to be chucking these um, green blobs. I'm going to just call them green blobs. As soon as you hit them, it basically kills them. And then he'll spawn more. So, I forgot to say, that's not good if I'm getting hit like that. Um, now he's going to be chucking in purple potions, which do damage. Oh, wow, I died. Oh, I forgot to say. The, quickest, well, the second quickest boss, you can easily just fail at killing him. Come on, chuck him, chuck him, chuck him. If you get too close, though, he will bang them together and do damage. So, yeah, don't get too close to him. All these metallic compounds, they do too much damage for the environment. Gotcha. Right, now chuck your freaking balls. Right, so now you got through this stage, he will now drink the um, potion. I don't know why. Yeah, that, that, that's gonna do anything. You gotta use these blocks to get on top and hit him on the head. It's basically it's that simple. You can't do anything unless if you run into it. And therefore, boss complete. Not that hard in reality. So moving on to the lab, the last main level in the game, look, that's all we've got, these three, plus the other two gems that we need to get. So the last main level for the lab, so as you can guess, it's got the last color gem we need. So therefore we can complete it on the first try. And this is also the last one with Torna tokens as well, so yeah, get used to seeing that. All these have got switches on, so yeah, you you control your own destiny there. So also be a bit careful. Also, blobs spawn from the Brio fight, so you want to be a bit careful of those, because those are the ones with massive hitboxes. Now for these, you need to be a bit careful because some of them contain a little trap. Not something that you really want to be doing, but mind you, I don't want to be blowing myself up by scribbling. Or spinning. Okay. Go! Go, 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 go! In my life, and this should be the third Tauna ribbon already. Very early Tauna, so, yep. And for the last bonus round, it is pretty simple from what I can gather. And there's nothing up here, so. I would care, but. Mm, I could care less, really. Yep. Give me nine ninety five percent complete. Now you won't get another save point here, so the only way for you to keep the last two levels unlocked is for, to get a gem save while those are unlocked. So yeah, you want to take good care of where you're going with this. So if you're gonna do what I'm gonna do and save, you will be doing this level again. So that's why I'm hoping I can get the gem done as soon as possible. Now these enemies have electrocutes. Um, electric electrocutes? Electricity. Duh. Um, these enemies are, on, are found in Crash 2 as well. So just make you aware of that. Go, 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 go. I dodged that. Very nice. Oh god, that's not good. Right, now to handle this, all you gotta do is just hit this TNT crate, move here, and you should be fine. And you won't have to worry about any new second scribbles and all that crap. One, two, three. Just hit it when it's going. No! God damn it. 
We'll come back for this. I'm annoyed that I didn't get that. I mean, seriously, it worked this time. This is right at the end of the level as well. Oh wow. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot! I just freaking walk in it! <laughs> like I don't even care! Uh. I will get this before I... Oh god, not a good idea. Oh god. You followed me. That's not good. Come here, big blob. I'd wait. I'd wait till those three have exploded if you're if you're still in course with the gem that is. But there you go. That's the lab for you. Now now we're at the um the last two levels of the game. Neither of them are anything specific and they're not really got anything major in terms of level design. They they're both containing endings to the game which you need to have certain percentages of the game for. So in the next part, well, I'm going to be going, I should have the lab gem by then, I will then go back and then complete the Great Wall, not the Great Wall, the Great Gate, and it lights out, which will therefore cement me having every single gem in the game, I think, and then I will cover both endings after that, so I'll see you guys then for when I actually get that gem.